The most anticipated Pokemon of the entire season are finally available after months of waiting, and today we're getting them. Or one, because we can't get both. We kind of can. Because we're here with JT Gilly, who's going to get the other one. I also wanted to check out the spawns for this event, do some research, and then hatch these five eggs, because we haven't hatched enough on this channel lately. <laughs> okay, granted, we did recently hatch, though, a shiny Magby, so... It's a thing. Anyway, for daily incense, plus new Shadow Shinies to hunt, and the Nebula Sky is back. Oh my god. Also, if you've noticed, the game has been like 100 million times faster lately. No, that is not a glitch. That is a feature. Apparently, Pokemon Go announced it. I don't know what or why. Unpopular opinion, I think it's a little too fast. It makes the game feel like sort of unnatural. It's quicker, which is nice, but that is definitely a thing, though. And we get to continue the hunt for the best Shadow Shiny. One of the best Shadow Shinies ever, Sableye. And honestly, after looking into Brandon Ton's account and Fleece King's account, which we will have a video on soon, it's not that I'm self-conscious about my lack of Shadow Shinies in my account, but, you know, gotta get those numbers up. Get some more 12-kilometer eggs, a, you know, new shiny Ponyard, which we'll never get, because we're not doing 100 kilom- What if we did a 100-kilometer Oh, God. 112 kilometer. No, I would, I would lose my mind. We're not doing that. Sorry. Shiny. <laughs> Dang it. But you do kind of see it. The nebulous guys in Pokemon Go are back. Really excited for that specifically. And here's the research, which we will now begin to get through. The Cosmic Companion Research. Yes, Solgaleo and Lunala are finally available in Pokemon Go, and today we'll be talking a little bit about, a lot about, their meta relevancy and which one I'll be evolving to and which one maybe you should evolve to. It's really personal preference, but they are a bit different in the meta. And we do have this research that we need to get through which includes encounters with Elgym, which can be shiny now, nice. Look how, look how fast Pokemon Go is now. The game feels like, it feels like it's in like 20, 20x speed. And star you. Like watch this, look, it's like, bing, ding. It's so fast. And finally, Giraffe Rig. God, the nebulous sky is such a cool feature, dude. I'm so happy to have that back. Okay, cool, claim the reward, which will give us the 25 Cosmog candy, which we do need for today, the Stardust, and, okay, fit 15 hearts with your buddy Hatch and A, catch 20 different species. Oh, dear God. Well, before we complete that, we do have an ad for today's video. Many of you know me as the leader of Team Mystic, but did you know I'm also a lard? You see, I walked 500 miles, not for a shiny, but for my large ship. I, did, I didn't actually walk anywhere for this. I got it from established titles. But it's legit. Established titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords or lords and ladies in English. How it works is you basically purchase a souvenir plot of land in Scotland, which gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. Then you get your official certificate with a crest, by the way, and voila, your lordship, which means you're officially a lord or a lady. Like you can literally put the title of lord or lady on your credit card, your plane ticket, and your dating apps. This, as you could probably tell, makes an amazing last minute gift. And it's good for the environment. The main goal of established titles is to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. They plant one tree with every order and work with global charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. They're on their Mr. Beast vibe. And the first 200 people to purchase a title pack using my link in the description will effectively be placed next to my personal plot within a few minutes of walking distance. My friends, my team, my family, we could establish our own M7 kingdom. So thank you to Establish Titles for sponsoring today's video. And click the link in the description to become a ladder to yourself. Oh my god, look at this. This is what Safari Zone Singapore does to you. 105 kilometers walked this week. 86 eggs hatched. 49,000 steps. Oh my god. Well, at least we get our 10 kilometer and 5 kilometer eggs, so that's good. Speaking of eggs, we got a hatch. I'm going to super incubate a 2 kilometer egg, 1.3 kilometers. Let's walk it. We're evolving to Solgaleo, if the night allows it. Daytime. I thought it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> and I know it's not daytime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, daily incense ready. We're gonna pop this just to get a kind of feel for the spawns of the event and maybe get this guy a bird because he hasn't caught one yet. Okay, <laughs> what a noob. You know. <laughs> All right, three, two, two. one, boom. Let's I go. engage. Cynical. I got a bird. Shut up. It's a Fletch, Fletch bird. It's a, it's a bird. <laughs> oh, I tried. I mean, it's just so stupid to do that. What? Up every time. Oh. <laughs> I'm not talking. Oh! <laughs> Gilly, when's the last time you saw a glaring bird? Uh, not, I think, like, uh, before Safari Zone, two weeks ago. Okay. God. I haven't seen one forever. Sun! Spawn up! All right, 18 spawns. A little bit what to expect for the event spawn st stuff. No birds, though. It's fine, because I lured everything up. You're welcome. Ugh. Hitting a special trade with Gilly, and we have an actually really insane one. Very lucky. Very special. Very rare. Do we? Yeah. What are we doing? Shiny special trade going down. This is a very, very rare and cool shiny. We're going to be swapping shiny Pikachu. Cool shiny. We're going to 
We're going to be trading away Shiny Pikachu with the Purple Balloons. Really rare. Super rare. Wow. So, wow. Really rare. Um, Singapore exclusive? I yeah. Think? I yes. don't know. Yeah. Um, for a Shiny Pikachu with the Purple Balloons. So we're going to get that done right now. 800 dust. Sender Here bud. we go. Yeah, the reason why this is so rare is because this Pikachu with this specific balloon combo is Singapore exclusive. Are you ready? Here we go. We did we did Lucky the other day. Did we? Oh, oh, oh yeah, God. off camera. Yeah, right. We actually, oh. We did do a trade as we were boarding the airplane on the way back from Singapore. We did a Giratina trade, Shiny Giratina, and we got Lucky. And look at the IVs on this. I got 14, 14, 14 Shiny Giratina off of a random, it wasn't a Lucky trade, just like a random trade. Again, as we were like walking the airplane. So that was kind of cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. Oh, and we just completed the uh, our 71st medal, which is this. The collection challenge, which gives, is it only 3,000 stars? Not, I mean, I'm grateful for 3,000 dust, but there's no encounter. Oh, there's more. Uh, just dust? What is this? Oh, happy Thanksgiving. This comes out on Thanksgiving. True, true. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy everybody. Thanksgiving to everyone in chat. Let's freaking go. It's actually one of my favorite holidays because it's filled with food, friends, and family, which are my three favorite Fs. And f I did want to quickly talk about Solgaleo's meta relevancy in Pokemon Go, and then once we can... Wait, actually, I think we can right now. Look at my Cosmo right now. Oh my god, wait, no. I don't have the evolution button. Not this again. As I reload my game and pray, Solgaleo in Pokemon Go. Now, Solgaleo is a dual Steel and Psychic type Pokemon with a max CP of... I think it is for... What the hell is it? Psychic and Steel type with a max CP of 4,570. Now, unfortunately, due to its move pool, it's not that great of a Psychic type Pokemon, and also not that great of a Steel type. It's just not that useful as a Raid Boss counter. Let me look at my Cosmo. Dude, what? why can't I evolve this? Oh, because I need to get with the research. Oh, that's tragic. Okay, well, really quickly. Oh, hatch an egg. Done. Nice. Sweet, we can complete, or continue, the Cosmic Companion research. And Solgaleo and Pokemon Go, the one redeeming quality it does have. Obviously, it looks amazing, but it is ranked 6th in the Masters League. So if you're a PvP person, Solgaleo is technically the better option out of the two, because rank 6 is super. A significant, a top 10 GBL Pokemon. So it's nice that it's relevant. Next encounter, Staryu. I want to star you in the research this event. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And we get 25 Great Balls, which is super helpful after this Safari Zone weekend, not gonna lie. And then 10 Pokeballs, 1500 Dust, 3000 XP. Catch three Pokemon. Really? One, two, three. All right, that's done. Catch three Pokemon, Cosmic Companion. Okay, 50 Candies, we got Dust, we've got XP. There we go, Evolve a Cosmo, which means we can evolve to the Pokemon I actually want to get tonight, which is me, Lunagilly. Lunala in Pokemon Go. And how is Lunala in Pokemon Go? As we evolve to this big bad boy, it's me 19. Wait, how are my IVs on this Cosmo? Oh, they're garbage. Nice, love that. Again, to evolve to Solgaleo, you need 100 candies and have to evolve during the daytime. And for Lunala, 100 candies at nighttime, which it is right now. And Lunala in Pokemon Go is ranked 80th in the Masters League, so it's still like kind of technically sort of relevant, but it shines a lot brighter in the raid battles as a psychic type Pokemon. It's decent as a psychic type, as a non-legendary, sorry, non-mega, non-Mewtwo. And there that is, by the way. Beautiful. Lunala going to the Pokedex. God, this thing looks sick in game. Very Halloween-y. I understand it's like... Uh, I understand it's like, you know, nearly Christmas time, but also 1990, 1696, nice. But here's this big bad beast in the game. Dude, this thing looks incredible. Oh my god. Now again, it's a decent psychic type Pokemon, psychic type raid counter. We could get it to 4473 at level 50, that's insane. And unfortunately, due to its moves, if it got Hex, the move Hex, it would be a freaking boss. Like, one of the best ghost type Pokemon in game, so maybe that update comes out that gives it Hex. But again, not a bad psychic type attacker. Not, not terrible. It's good. I like it. Looks cool. Hi, Gilly. But we don't really need another psychic type attacker because we have our six Shadow Mewtwo. They probably all suck, huh? <laughs> no. And then closing out the research, we have an encounter with Star. God, get out of here. And then completing it, 500 dust, 2000 XP, and they gave me another Cosmog. Star me. That's disgusting. And I wonder if we'll get another Cosmog encounter at some point at the end of the season, maybe. Oh, there's more. Evolve three, walk five kilometers. <laughs> yeah, right. JT Gilly, good to see you, as always. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Check out the other two videos on screen, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>